Why? People know I don't go everywhere. I'm not interested in talking to people unless it's like a Larry King or somebody of an amazing ilk that I would actually want to go talk to in real life. Okay. It's And the reason I had to come is because you've made a safe place for the truth to be told. Yeah. And I have watched all of these lowbrow comedians come here and disrespect you in your face <laughs> and tell you straight up lies. I'm talking about things that have never been heard in all of black Hollywood. They feel comfortable sitting here and lying to you about it. You gonna set the record straight? Are you kidding me? You let Ricky Smiley sit here and you said out that mouth, you stole Friday after next, the one I was in? <laughs> I wish all, all of America fumbled a bit when that happened. And, and then he said some stuff that we haven't heard in 100 years in Hollywood. You ain't say nothing. This man told you he had cat. He said, you ain't say nothing. <laughs> Williams' role, he was going to be Money Mike. Wait. And Cat Williams was going to be fr was going to be the Santa Claus. Now, let's three quick points. Three quick. You mean in Hollywood, they cast a five foot five black Santa Claus that weigh 145 pounds. That's your story. Your story is the Ricky Smiley that couldn't even do curse words because he had a Christian fan base. He was going to play the pimp. Why you didn't ask him why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man? He shouldn't be able. You wouldn't let an a, a, a athlete that been on steroids talk about one of the greats. Ricky Smiley can't act because Ricky Smiley can't act. He told you the story about when the movie came out. Where did he say he watched it? At home. He wasn't even at the premiere. You telling this man, you stole that. Oh, so he could get his name in the same sentence. Where a great one. It is sad. He was just that bitter when we were shooting it. He told everybody, it should have been my role. Everybody on the scene. Why no, do you think no cast member has ever said anything? He Sir, was no one, why no, he was with KD? He beat up Terry Crews? Why nobody know this story? You talking about in Hollywood, they switched off roles. You take this and he, what? So Ricky, Ricky Smiley knows this, and I don't know why he would lose a child and come on the air and start lying. That's why people believe in rituals right there. It's because, well, why would he lie? I don't know why liars lie, but I can't. What my take on that is, why bring it up now? Like, what, you, what was he gonna gain by bringing it up? So I get what Kat's saying in such a way, but it's a, it's a role. So if everybody auditioned for it, it wasn't your role if you auditioned for it can tell you this. We auditioned in Los Angeles. Yes. I was audition number 201. 200 black comedians auditioned for the role of Money Mike with me. You're saying all 201 of us was auditioning and you had already had the role and had already shot the role in four days? The truth of the matter is, the Money Mike in the original script got raped in the bathroom, and that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with. Cat Williams had to take the risk in front of the studios and the cast and our powers that be in his very first movie and say respectfully, humbly, guys, if we're talking about anything else, I have no credibility and I have no pull, but we're talking about comedy. Right. Where I have all the credibility and all the pull. The problem with Friday After Next is we're trying to make a classic comedy. And this comedy involves a rape. And rape is never right. funny, right. no matter who it happens to or what the circumstances are. If you would allow now, me that's to... One of the, the, the truest things he said on here. Rape is never funny, is never condoned. So why was he even in a comedy? That, they were trying to stereotype us as blacks off the gate with that. You know, I guess Cube only had so much writing uh, creativity in the movie. He didn't have, you know, I guess he had nothing to do with the end and the beginning, I guess. Well, that's no hidden or there. Allow us to do this movie without a black man getting raped in it. I promise you that it will be twice as funny as it would be with him getting raped. So considering that's the real story, why would you bring up that story? 35 members of the cast and crew have never brought up that Ricky Smiley was going to play Money Mike. No one ever saw me put on a Santa Claus suit. We got a wardrobe department. They made a Santa Claus suit for me. Why that wasn't in the bloopers? Why? 
<laughs> and and here's the other thing. Everything that Money Mike said, Cat Williams wrote. So what Ricky right, Smiley what say on his? You can't say my lines, I wrote them. That's how I already know that I'm going to be funnier than you. What he told everybody was, Cat Williams, eh, eh, don't nobody know who he is? I'm on the radio. I'm with Steven Said. Everybody know me. That's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set. That's the truth of the matter. He was so egregious. Not now. Then he was so egregious that and Hollywood has never heard this. What's the word, cat? Egregious? <laughs> cat up there using big words and, and, and expressing himself. <laughs> in a hundred years. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did. It's in my contract. Why would you put that in your, put his, in your contract, cat? That's where he's the, a believable actor. Him and Tyler Perry can't play a man to save their life. They play good women, and I believe that the best actor should be in the best role. So that's <laughs> why, because when we released that clip and he said that, you responded because he said he was supposed to play Money Mike and you were supposed to say, play Santa Claus. An outright lie. So, that he knows is a lie. So why would he say it? Because he's a liar. Nobody knows why liars lie. And, that and if it's an audition, he, like he said, there's 201 other people there. So how did you get the role off the dribble? I understand what he's saying, but like I say, this is my opinion. That's why I had to come on the program. Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? Yeah. He said, it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018? You came to see me at the Comedy Store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what does... Only thing that was misleading about what he's saying right now is the dates are wrong. That's it. Other than that, he's telling the truth. His dates just wrong. Doesn't line up. I, this is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he. Now that's a fact check. I just fact checked that and that's the exact same scenario Steve did. And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask him, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr potato head. There ain't none. You would have to have range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. The truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't let these dudes lie. Cedric sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off. He said you didn't say nothing. <laughs> can't go at all. <laughs> he said he looking like a walrus. <laughs> Off his stomach sitting over here. Why well, I'm can't, not a movie can't, star. Can't, can't, what? Can't. It's a situation. He never wrote anything. Remember, when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. Right. We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he's write doing jokes. Album. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? They're so bad that they're not available on Netflix or to be. You don't think Santa Okay, that's why I'm gonna end my net. This is your boy NJW. I'm the host of Stutter Pot TV. This is my opinion of the Cat Williams explosion. Because that's exactly what it was. Now that he has said what he said, now everybody has something to say. How come they were saying all this before he had something to say? He came to the show, Shannon invited him, and it was a good interview. Now everybody wanna ride off the piggyback off his interview. I don't know how that goes. Um, Michael Blackson said he just, he cloud chasing. It could be true, could not be true. But uh, I don't know if Michael Blackson one of the 10 best comics in the world, like he said, but that's his opinion. This has been mine. Thank you for joining me. And uh, this is me going, listening to Cat Williams going off once again. That nigga is something. Thank you for joining me. Hit the subscribe button and the like button.